And today we're going to be unboxing an ice maker, setting it up and testing it out. It can hold 265 pounds of ice and can make up to 550 pounds in a day. How cool is that? As you can see, it's all in wooden crates. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack these crates open. We're going to look inside to see how the products look. And then we're going to set it up, hook it up to some water and get some ice making. All right, that's one crate. This is the actual storage bin for the ice. You can see where this is where the door will open and shut to access. Right there. Let's get the other crate open. This is gonna be your compressor and freezer side. There's the freezer side. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear a spot for this and we're gonna go ahead and start setting up. Okay, so now that everything's unpacked, what we're gonna do is put the feet on the bottom and they are adjustable feet. So if you do have to level them, you can just unscrew the bottom like this to adjust the height. And then the feet just screw onto the bottom. And then while you have it flipped over, you do want to attach your bottom drain as well. So you're going to take this little piece. It's got the rubber washer on it. Looks like a T. And screw it in. And we'll take the gray drain hose and the hose clamp. And you have a straight side and a 90 side. You're going to hook the 90 side on the drain, but first put your clamp on. You just squeeze this by hand or you can use a pair of pliers and slide it on and then release the clamp. And now our drain is installed. Now we can stand this back up and slide it where we want to put the ice maker. And if you notice, they do have this plastic sheeting over all the stainless and you will peel all that off once you have it installed. It's just there to protect your uh, stainless from getting scratched up. So I will slide this right here. Then we have our door that goes on the front right here. And to install the door, you have to take out three Phillips head screws to basically remove the hinge. And then you have a hole on each side and a peg. You just put the door on just like this, then bring it, swing up this hinge, put the peg in the hole, and then reattach your hinge. And now we have our insulated door. And of course, this whole container is fully insulated. And as the ice dumps in and fills this container up, it will slowly melt and drain out the bottom. So you do have to have a drain installed. All right, so next we're going to take the actual refrigeration unit itself and we're going to put it on top of the ice box. It is very heavy. I highly recommend that you get help. And this will sit on top of the rubber gasket. So make sure you do not tear up your rubber gasket. All right, now with this in place, we can now hook up the water in the back. Okay, so the installation of the ice maker is complete. It's been running for 24 hours. It's now full of ice. So I can give you the grand tour and the grand reveal of this ice maker. So let's take a closer look. All right, so you can see right there, it is saying full. This is your little control panel right here. You have power, full. It lets you know when it's making ice, lets you know when it's de-icing, lets you know when it's filling with water. 
then if you have a failure this will light up and it will throw an error code up really cool and this is your off and on if you want to turn it on you can see it's all stainless steel You've got the thick insulated door now i live in the very humid region and it's currently about 100 degrees and that's why you see the uh, condensation on the outside now if this was in your kitchen indoors or in a lower humidity area you wouldn't have the condensation problems all the panels are very straight and nice there was no damage in shipping I'm going to show you the back you can see where your water connection screws in right here and then we ran that back here I'm going to go show you over there how we connected it this is where it comes to we have this water filter here and the water filter and the hoses do come with the ice maker now the blue hose I added because I did have to buy my own connection type and I'm just using a little quarter inch food grade hose and the water filter does come with the filter element and it also comes with a wall mount but because this is a brick wall and this is behind a grill I'm just going to uh, stand it up so I don't have to put any holes in my wall down here is the drain hose now if this was inside you would have to run that to a sewer line or through a floor to outside somewhere but since I'm outside it just trickles out onto the concrete here. You do have a second hose that you're going to get for coming out of that filter and making other connections if you want to. They're going to give you the ice scoop. You will get the filter wrench. They'll also give you the Teflon tape for installation, other fittings and hardware for your filter. And then this is the wall mount for the filter. Now let's see what kind of ice we've made. Open it up. And looky there, over 200 pounds of ice within 24 hours, all stacked up and ready to go. The inside is insulated. Like I said, this has been sitting out and building up over 24 hours. It's very hot and humid here, and it's uh, keeping ice. It's doing a very good job. We're going to look inside the machine real quick. You can see this is where the ice is actually made. You can see where a sheet just fell down here. Right there. And now it's going to kick on. Start making ice again. But basically it comes in. It fills up right here. This pump pumps it over the ice maker. It circulates it. And the ice builds up on the ice maker. And then once the ice gets thick enough, it'll de-ice, drop the ice, and continue the cycle. Now you can control how thick or thin the ice is with this little screw in here. If you uh, screw the screw in, it will make the sensor come out making thicker ice. And if you loosen that screw, it'll make the ice thinner. So you can set your desired ice thickness. You can see the water cycling through right there. So very, very cool indeed, literally. So if you have a business, a restaurant, have a lot of parties at your house and you need an ice maker like this, this is going to be a great option. It came very well packaged, it was easy to set up, and it does a very good job. I hope this video helps, and thanks for watching.